Women have believed it for years. Stress is bad for you if you're trying to get pregnant. And now doctors have proven that anxiety can lead to infertility. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez is here with more on the link. Dr. Max. Try to dig in, Christine. You know, doctors have known for some time that stress can lead to everything from depression to high blood pressure and even heart attacks and stroke. And how many times have you heard of an infertile woman about to adopt a baby who suddenly gets pregnant? Stress could be the reason. As a mother of seven and a half year old triplets, Abigail David says she expects a certain amount of stress in her life. But it may have been the stress she was under before kids that made it so hard to have them in the first place. Abigail was not only working full time, but while she and her husband were trying to start a family, she was also trying to start a business. During that time, it was a huge crunch time, and, um, and I actually did not get pregnant until after um, we had opened our doors. And a new study shows that Abigail's timing may have been more than a coincidence. Dr. Courtney Lynch of Ohio State's Wexner Medical Center led a team of researchers that have made the connection between stress and a couple's inability to get pregnant. Higher levels of stress at the outset when they got started were in fact associated with infertility, which is the first time that's ever been shown. To make the connection, Lynch followed more than 400 couples for a year, collecting samples of saliva throughout. She found that women with the highest levels of a stress biomarker had a 29% decrease in the probability of getting pregnant, and her risk of infertility more than doubled. As you continue to try, try to conceive, and it's been five, six months, and perhaps you're not yet pregnant, then maybe it's something that you might want to look at in terms of improving your overall lifestyle. Lynch says while there isn't any proof yet that it would help, things like meditation or yoga couldn't hurt. Looking back, it's a simple step Abigail says she wishes she would have taken. If they can help somebody to not have to go through two, three, four years of infertility issues, and they can something that's so easy, that would be, I think that would be great. Stress isn't the only reason couples may have trouble getting pregnant, of course, and reducing stress is often easier said than done. Anti-stress things like yoga or meditation may not help you get pregnant, but it can't hurt and may help prevent some of the other bad things that come with stress. Dick? All right, Max, thanks very much.